These are exciting times to be alive. Good times indeed. And how on earth did that happen? It all started in a traffic jam. Hatton Garden, second floor. Six years later, I arrived home, a changed person. Was it the acid? Who knows? But what a bloody laugh that was. Settled down, three kids, lovely wife, good times. But is this the second coming? Thinking, seeing, doing, touching, waiting, wanting, needing, being. Then the fire came with no warning hidden by your desire to feel its warmth. One could not wish for no more, but to master such fury, to master such peace, to master such madness. Madness. But in the realms of such things, madness is the path you must follow, the teacher you must master. You must not be fearful, for fear to become your follower. You must not be brave, for bravery is to beget your wrath. You must have destiny in your stride, and faith in your being. You must follow it to its end, if not its meaning. And as you stand at such a gate, your heart loses the fear of the stepping shelter. In understanding the courage within the tear, the gate opens. The roll of thunder across the vast skies. The swallow's wing cuts the water's edge at sunrise. There is no measure for such things, but truth and lies. Then, the fire came, with no warning, fueled by your desire to feel its warmth. One could not wish for no more, but to master such fury, to master such peace, to master such madness. Madness. But in the realms of such things, madness is the path we must follow, the teacher we must master. You must not be fearful for fear to become your follower. You must not be brave for bravery is to beget your wrath. You must have destiny in your stride and faith in your being. You must follow it to its end, if not its meaning. And as you stand at such a gate, your heart loses the fear of the step it shall take. In understanding the courage within a tear, the gate opens. The roll of thunder across vast skies. The swallow's wing cuts the water's edge at the sun. There is no measure for such fear. But truth and lies. Without cannabis, I'd just be in a ball, curled up crying. Dope's the only reason I get up in the morning and are able to function normally. Cannabis helps my son be able to communicate. I used to joke how I loved the nice dystopia. Fucking hell. During lockdown, I have lost so many friends and I feel like if they'd waited a little bit longer, they could have bloomed. In the world of Charles Bukowski, we are like roses that have never bothered to bloom when we should have bloomed. 
and it's as if the sun has become disgusted with waiting. Through these troubling times, it's hard to unwind from the daily grind. Time is flying by with no end in sight. People manifest in a state of unrest and stress. Many see the devil in, in the detail that's fueling the new mental health crisis. But for the rest of us, it's just another day on our own personal hell. Oh, nice, nice, brother. Enjoy, enjoy your zoo, enjoy your zoo. It's always nice anyway when you go out for walks and it feels like it's like early morning and uh, the sun's just coming up and that. It's always nice. But yeah, no, I can imagine it's still quite cold even when the sun's out. It's fucking freezing out. I want to go smoke a joint, but I just can't be asked to go out in the cold, to be honest. I'm really as fuck as well. <laughs> so the cold is not appealing at this moment in time. Just ignore me. <laughs> Morning. Look, these times have been hard for the most of us, and I've tried to keep myself calm and positive, trying to learn the cognitive behavioural traits of a mind that's been in lockdown long before this was our only way for us to live out each day every hour spent exactly the same I was worrying about my mental state or if this shit is ever gonna fucking change our government bending all the rules serving up lies from a silver plate but they try so hard not to break whilst we all sit around and deteriorate while well, the country's put us to shame as they stay ahead of this race our great nation keeping us all down so we can watch it go up in flames it should have never got to this stage millions of lives in dire straits there's only so much more of this bullshit we're all willing to fucking take and there's no surprise that we struggle to sympathise and relate because the light at the end of this dark tunnel is finally starting to fade Stands, no friends with benefits, no fuckboys, no liars, no married men. I'm never on here, 
you can have me on Insta at my snap. Hold the door for me. Slap me on the ass on the way through. Looking for a sugar daddy. Don't like using this. Send me an email. You'll see me on lockdownnews.com. You'll see me on cougardate.com. I'm sapiosexual. If you're not over six foot, swipe left. I love going out or staying in. I feel like it's sarcasm. With two fur babies. green and carefree, famous among the barns about the happy yard and singing as the farm was home. In the sun that is young once only, time let me play and be golden in the mercy of his means. And green and golden I was huntsman and herdsman. The calves sang to my horn, the foxes on the hills barked clear and cold, and the Sabbath rang slowly in the pebbles of the holy streams. say goodbye to him but I was too late. He didn't die from coronavirus but that's what he was the most worried about and why he didn't go to hospital for treatment. The restrictions for his funeral were awful to cope with too but if giving up a bit of our freedom for a while means less people will face the loss of a loved one then that's what we should all do because it hurts terribly. It breathes you in, coughs you out and then your sadness affects everyone around you. We love you, Paxton. Rest well. Yeah, PJ here. Just wanted to say farewell to our very good friend, Paxton Newton, uh, who uh, we uh, shared a very uh, amount of love for music, uh, the best music. We had a band called The Beards, in which he played the bass brilliantly. Damon actually sang and um, shouted quite well, and I pissed around the guitar pretty good as well. So, uh, yeah, it was a brilliant time with him. 
absolutely wicked guy for all to happen to you. As he lay with head so full, thoughts tend to scrape and scratch the skull, a throbbing, aching sack of blood to render him sleepless, if only it could. Instead, laid skin most overlapping, protective film to hide the mapping. Windows shut, sealant clear, condensation boats satire. Contained within, pain reflected, bright lights at speed a face projected. Brandon portrays the cattle's worth, branded a face to haunting mirth. Consumed within one night of jest, the fuel for fools, the devil's best. Released from hell, one place to go, discretion upheld, and who would know? Who would know? Once eyes of blue and sweet, of course, now broken neck and comatose. Insides exposed, blood paints the trail, her soul reclaimed completes the tale. Rested upon the devil's arm, an angel's face released of charm. The eyes that watch of feline nature, buzz with angst for seeing the danger. Remorse unfolds, events remain, a gift of life which must refrain. Time progressive, night is done, a decision is made to turn and run. And so it ends in bloody slaughter, poor angel, mere girl and doting daughter. The butcher sleeps in coiled in sin, his sentence life doth now begin. Allow yourself to hear all the sounds that are going on around you. Just listen to the general hum and buzz of the world as if you were listening to music. Don't try to identify the sounds you're hearing. Don't put names on them. Simply allow them to play with your eardrums and let them go in other words you could put it let your ears hear whatever they want to hear don't judge the sounds there are no as it were proper sounds or improper sounds and it doesn't matter if somebody coughs or sneezes or drop something. It's all just sound. And if I am talking to you right now and you're doing this, I want you to listen to the sound of my voice just as if it were noise. Don't try to make any sense out of what I'm saying because your brain will take care of that automatically. You don't have to try to understand it. Just listen to the sound. As you pursue that experiment, you will very naturally find that you can't help naming sounds, identifying them, that you will go on thinking, that is to say, talking to yourself inside your head automatically. But it's important that you don't try to repress those thoughts by forcing them out of your mind. Because that will have precisely the same effect as if you were trying to smooth rough water with a flat iron. 
We're just going to disturb it all the more. What you do is this. As you hear sounds coming up in your head, thoughts, you simply listen to them as part of the general noise going on, just as you would be listening to the sound of my voice, or just as you would be listening to cars going by or to birds chattering outside the window. So look at your own thoughts as just noises. And soon you will find that the so-called outside world and the so-called inside world come together. Come together. Vidya, 
knowing. Non-knowing or ignorance, or better, ignorance. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure that you see. And after several nights, you would say, well, that's pretty good. But now let's, uh, let's have a surprise.